So um, by default, AutoCAD um, is set up for decimal units. If you're doing any architectural drawings, you have to change the units to architectural. And every time that you close AutoCAD, it'll go back to the decimal unit unless you have created a template that you use for your new file and you create a new file and change the units to architectural and save that file then every time you open that specific file it'll revert back to architectural units so the first thing you want to do is we're going to create a template what you have to do first though is you type UNITS which is units in the command prompt and hit enter Okay. when you do that AutoCAD will open this dialog box which gives you several options um, the only thing you have to change here is we're going to change the unit to architectural now notice the default system was decimal and everything was in a point decimal system it was using international unit well it was using the metric system when I change it to architectural it changes automatically to a feet and inches system when I change it to engineering it is so feet and inches that there's a different precision there and then there's something different for fractional and scientific. Um, predominantly, or mostly, you'll be using either the decimal or the architectural system. So we're going to change first the type to architectural. The precision controls the degree to which AutoCAD will make your drawings precise. When you go for dimensioning, this is also going to come into play. When you dimension, CAD will dimension up to 1 16th of an inch precision. If you need a higher precision, say you have a lot of 1 64th inches on your site, then you can change the precision to that. You can go as high as 1 to 56th of an inch, which is a very, very precise drawing. For most drawings though, 1 16th of an inch precision is pretty good it's really very precise so I'm going to leave it at that the other thing you're going to notice is the insertion scale reads inches and I click on that it gives me all of these options I have the option of either using unit less which you probably don't want to use because you want to be precise um, inches feet miles millimeters centimeters so on and so forth what this means is if I select inches when I am inputting my measurements say I want to draw a wall six feet six inches wide if I just type 6.6 .6, CAD will understand that it's six feet six inches because there is a point or a decimal in between if I had to draw a wall six feet wide and if I just type six by default CAD is going to assume that you are saying six inches and it will draw a wall six inches wide which you might get into trouble if your wall was supposed to be six feet so you must remember that we are setting up the insertion scale to 6 inches. Every time you want to enter anything in feet, you have to specify the feet sign. Okay, so if you look down here, it's telling you um, sample output. You know, there's 2 inches, 0 inches, 3 inches, yada, yada, yada. If you had a feet, then you would have to put 2 feet inches, so the, the feet sign, which we'll practice in some time. Everything else is going to remain the same. There's not much you need to change. So all we did was we went to the type and changed that to architectural. Precision remains 1 16th of an inch and inches is the insertion scale. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to repeat this step just once. When you open a new file, you have to change the units. Um, if you don't have a template, if you do have a template, which is what we're going to create right now, then you just have to do this once. So I typed units in the command prompt and then selected architectural kept the precision at 1 16th of an inch and insertion scale is inches and then I click OK okay um, so now we're set I'm gonna turn off the grid now I'm gonna save this file as a template file and then close out of it and then open a new file using that template okay to save it as a template file you have to go to file and save as okay now before you do anything you'll have to go down here to files of type change the files of type to an DWT file which is an AutoCAD template file when you do that 
your folder by default is switched back to template. Now you want to save your template file in the same folder as where you're saving your CAD files just so you can find it easily. Um, if, you're, if you're using a USB and that's what that is going to be your sole backup or your sole source of saving the file, then you want to save it on the USB. So identify your location first. When you switch this file to DWT, CAD is going to switch you back to a template file, which is an inbuilt folder in your computer. This is a local file. You cannot carry it around unless you move it to a USB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. And I'm going to go to a folder named Aditi, which is my name, on the desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder. Oh, I'm just trying to rename it. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to rename it to AutoCAD. And this is the folder where I'm going to save my template file. And I'm going to name this as architectural template and click save when you do that it's going to ask you to give a description for the templates if you want to be specific you can say this is an architectural template insertion inches so you remember that it's an architectural template and insertion is inches and not feet and then click OK and then you can close out of it. Before I close out of it, I'm going to repeat this step again. Okay, so you go to File, Save As. We change the files of type to DWT. CAD will switch to its default template folder. You want to select the folder you want to save the file in. So I'm going to go to my DT folder and AutoCAD folder, and this is where my template is going to be saved. I can give it a name. I'm not going to do this right now because we did it once, but I name it architectural template and click on save. I'm going to cancel out of this because we've already done this step. And now I'm going to close this template. Now I'm going to open a new file. And this time I'm going to go look for the template I just created. So I go to Aditi, go to AutoCAD, find my template and click on open. Now, this is very important. Every time you open a new file using the template you created, it is still going to be a template file unless you save it as a new file. So say I'm working on John Doe's project and I want to use the architectural template. So I open my drawing using the architectural template. Now the first thing I have to do right away is save this file using my project name. So I'm going to name this John Doe. Oops. And I want this file to be a DWG file. It's a drawing file now. This is the folder when I want it to go. And then I'm going to hit on save. So now it says John Doe's file. My template file was used to create this file. So when I go back to units, all my settings are there. There's my architectural setting. It's 1 16th inch precision and there's inches. Okay. Later on, as you become more familiar with AutoCAD, you might want to add new things to your template things like grid, things like layers, things like dimension styles, text styles, your plot settings, everything can be built into a template and saved. And then all you have to do when you open a new file is open it from that template and you don't have to repeat the process.